Hello everybody, and um, um, welcome to the uh, Slytherin stream for the week. Uh, my name is David, and I've just turned the mic on, thanks that blood. Um, and this week we're going to be looking at Order of Battle Pacific, and uh, the first expansion which came out today, uh, called Morning Sun. Um, which is uh, now uh, on the store, and is, uh, covers the Second Sino-Japanese War. So about 1937, around there. Uh, Imperial Japan is very much on the up. Uh, it's just uh, beaten up a lot of Russians outside of Vladivostok. And is, uh, currently holds a lot of uh, places like Mongolia, Manchuria. It has many allies there. And uh, after a few, well, tete-a-tetes with the Chinese who are having their own internal issues, they decide to go full force and uh, have to and grab some of their prime resource land. Uh, so... Uh, the first thing you'll notice when you get a patch 2.25 today is it's got a new intro uh, scenario select menu which covers quite a lot of the world. You'll notice some rather large blank areas. Uh, those will be filling in the next few months as uh, the aristocrats start uh, bringing you some even more exciting content. Uh, more on that in the weeks to come. Um, let's start with, let's go and look at Morning Sun. So, we're going to be wrestling for power. So, China and Japan's in many conflicts, and its anniversary is weakened by years of civil war, as we know, so it's time to go and smash some people. So this is where you'd start the campaign. You start off uh, with Japanese control of most of Korea and Manchuria, and a bit of Mongolia with many Mongolian allies. Um, you usually start off with the Bay Ping after a bit of a fight up there to go and take uh, the line. Oh, thank you, I hope that was better. But we're not going to start there, because it's the first mission. Uh, it's, it's a nice intro into the campaign. We're going to go to something a bit meatier. So we're going to go and load my previous campaign, uh, which sees us at the Battle of Shanghai, at the mouth of the Yangtze River. So uh, we've had a couple of missions in, and we've won both of them. Um, unfortunately, in the first mission, our Saw Course Agyorki engineering vehicle, which is a fancy name for a big flamethrowing tank, has a done well, so we've got one for this in our core force, which is nice. So our core force, core force at the moment, we have a few wonderful biplane fighters and bombers, uh, which are quite nice and generally more powerful than what the Chinese have available. The Chinese are mostly loaning in lots of Soviet and other gear, but don't really have the pilots to fly them. Uh, then we have our engineers who've been seeing some bloody work on the front line. Uh, getting lots of hurt. This one's taking more damage rather than giving it, but it's been there burning away. Uh, some long distance cavalry uh, and artillery, importantly, pulled by horse transports, which are new for the series. And then we've got some heavy infantry, some basic infantry who did a, did a good bit of yomping and uh, saw a good fight. And then uh, one medium tank, a uh, Type 89, which Mostly last last time I was uh, taking care of an uh, old Renault tank that they had knocking around. Uh, my one scout vehicle, my Type 92 Osaka. Uh, my Type 94 tankette, which has done a wonderful job of uh, mopping up infantry for me so far. I'm very much in, in favour of it. Uh, more infantry, and then uh, my little scout aircraft, who's been flying around looking at things for me, and another bomber. So, let's get into it. Uh, if there's anything more you want to know about the campaign, about the DLC, about the general scenarios, let me know in the chat. And hopefully the mic's on now, so that's that good. So we'll get into it. So, we have Garrick in the top right. He's my uh, aircraft commander from a previous mission. Oh, I probably need to attack some aircraft. So, Shanghai at the mouth of the Yangtze River. Uh, so the conflict, which mostly started in the north of China, has now spread south, uh, mainly Japanese trying to grab lots of key ports. So there's lots of fighting in the main city of Shanghai, and we've been here for a while. Um, and, but unfortunately the Ch Chinese have generally built a very large defence in depth uh, set of uh, defences. They have a lot of men, uh, not that great trained, but numbers count in so many ways. Um, I guess we have a little small foothold here with a supply ship um, and a few 
naval craft, and there's my soldier key. Um, and we've got a few units already on board from auxiliary troops, uh, but my, I'm waiting to board myself. Uh, so, we also have the Imperial Japanese Navy have turned up with uh, their uh, fighter wing, which is very useful, but ultimately not mine, so it's a bit of a shame I can't get any experience points on them, but I've got some good uh, two-star and one-star pilots, a couple of aircraft carriers to resupply, and some supporting cruisers and destroyers. And importantly, um, if I can tie enough people up in the north, then they'll agree to hit the south with another wing of units. So, to the battle, secure the beachhead, link up with Shanghai, and drive the Chinese out of the city. Let's get going! So, six missions. Uh, expand the beachhead, as we know, capture all of Shanghai, and secure the western objectives. So let's have a look first of all. So we have three cities on the north here. Uh, if we can get these three cleared, then our Imperial Japanese allies will turn up down here on the south to do a, a, another landing down here to catch, basically open another flank and hopefully ensure our success. But I suspect, given how close these are to our front line, these are probably not going to be easy to take. And then we have all of Shanghai. So we already have a foothold in Shanghai here uh, with some defensive forces and a defensive scout. Um, but I need to take Da Chang, Pudong, Longhua, and Hongqiao, uh, which are all notably inside cities, so probably have lots of defenders sat there waiting for me. Lovely. And then the western objectives. Over here we have Jia Qing, over in the bottom corner, probably helped by our southern assault. And also up here in the north, so if we can take Yushuan, we should be able to pile on and take this. Of note though, we have rather a large flank up here, where ha which have exposed, and also down here, which has me worried slightly. We'll see what happens with that as we go along. And then some secondary objectives to destroy six coastal bunkers, for which we'll get um, another commander, which is nice. So we can probably we'll take out a few of those on the way and see if our destroyers here can take some more. Sink three Chinese warships, so I have to some warships somewhere to hit. We haven't seen any yet, and destroy twelve Chinese infantry units. I have no problem with that at all. So to deployment. Where should we start, shall we? Yeah, so this this stuff over here, I think I'm good. This one, I'm going to try and secure a flank on this river, I think. I don't think, I don't think I really want to be fighting over here if I want to just take this bit. Um, similarly here, I think my I think anyone coming up here is in, within range of battleships and will get bombarded, so hopefully they'll filter up this way. I don't have too wide a flank to fight against. So, first of all, I'm going to uh, fix up and bring in my major artillery. Uh, idea being I'm going to try and take out this fortress here so I can link up Shanghai with my beachhead. The problem being that my beachhead only has supply from the supply ship at the moment and this one place. And once I get my full army on, on board, that's not be enough. Whereas I'm hoping that I can get this bit of some extra seven supply from here to link up and secure my uh, supply chain. So the idea being bombard that, uh, these guys here come in and take it, along with these guys and these guys, and that hopefully open up a path and we'll, we won't lose too much territory in the process. So the other place to go for it, so we have one more place you can get someone on board straight away. Uh, so I'm thinking we probably need someone to take lower, lower down, and we've got heavy weapons already and some more infantry, so I'm going to put some engineers in there to go and help take that. And then the rest of the units. So here, first of all, is our Sogyo Ki, which is a flame tank. Um, so it's our new one, fresh, fresh, fresh off the boat, but it does wonderful amounts of efficiency damage and uh, fortification reduction, and quite a lot of damage against land infantry, so he will be coming in useful, I think, probably down here to try and winkle out some of the people dug in there. Uh, so first of all, my infantry. I've got a bit of spare um, command points, so I'm going to actually make them into some marines. Uh, with my intention being that these guys are going in here to come and take this river and take this out, bunker out, and secure this bridge. And some heavy infantry and backup because we're going to need them. I'm going to get my tankettes involved fairly early. And so let's see what should we need. I think my, no, that's not really the place for a big tank at the moment. Uh, nor a scout vehicle. So I think the next turn we're probably more likely 
Um, no, we're going to put in our heavy infantry. And we'll leave these. We'll bring in the engineers behind that. Get these guys ready to come in later. These guys are going to come in and help secure this flank on the scouts. Tell it's now coming in. We're down to two. Um, I don't. We don't really want to convert these back to engineers again. And go see how it pans out. I think. Or should I buy some more engineers? Nope, we'll go with that, and then we'll see how it pans out later in the mission. So, let's go. So, first up, uh, Type 45, High Paradox. Um, target this guy here, try and get through Wusong Fort. These tankers with the efficiency down anyway, um, and I've got to bring this gunboat down as well to help try and reduce the efficiency a bit. These guys can get here that turn. Nope, they're just gonna have to take care of some of these other guys. And while I'm here. Yeah, let me know if the audio is a bit too, too loud on these guys. All these gunshots can be quite devastating. And then, what we've got left over here, we have um, half a bookie and Izuwa. Now, this looks far too suspicious, so I don't really want to go and overcommit them too much, but I think we do need the firepower to help get rid of this place. And then we'll leave the SNLF in here. Just bring these guys. units was a mistake. So I was going to run them up and start taking that. Instead I think we're going to come back here and just make sure they don't take Shanghai off his next turn. Um, Anti-aircraft gun. You can hang around there for a bit. Don't there's any harm in that. And anti-tank weapon. It's a bit damaged. No armor in sight at the moment. So I might just leave him out of the way over here. Yeah, go Guys, I think we'll get rid of this. So we need to get people on off the boats as soon as possible. They're not going anywhere. We'll see. Yes. There is a a good chunk of difficulty in this one. Uh, I expect to win because I've, 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 as I may have guessed I may have played this a bit but I do tend to lose units which irritates me. So right, let's get our people on board, board ship. That's our supply ship. And leave them there. Get heavy infantry board in there. And then our tankette in there. Get these guys down ready for boarding next time. And then, see, we're already down to only plus two supply. So we're going to move next turn. That destroyer's got to come back here to provide a bit more supply for these guys who are boarding. So, who have we got left? Let's have a look. So we have our supply ship. We're going to leave him sleeping. I think I'm happy for him to stay there. Um, our anti-air, I'm going to leave that to cover. And then bring in these guys. Ah, the air. These, these are the first uh, single wing fighters you get in the missions. They're quite, quite good and certainly better than anything the Chinese are going to put out. So I'm going to bring those up guys over to the centre here. So we're right, ready for a bit of cover in case we can up. They call it one by wing fighter. And D1As, who are the uh, tactical bombers of choice. guys down here. Who's left? So. The question is, do we want to attack these this turn or wait next turn when we've got a bit more troops? Oh, I think I'm gonna at least get that, so I need to put a lot down a bit. And I think I'll leave those guys there so that they can uh, take them next turn. So I need a bit more support, I think, before we're gonna kick them out of that place. 
know what's left. These guys have got themselves involved in an awkward position, but there you go. They're staying there. They're staying there, and we're done. So, as you can see, for a first turn out of the way, I've gained about ooh, five hexes there. And already encountered a lot of people who I didn't think were there. I think this maybe tells me where this one's going to go. That's very generous of it, focusing on the anti tank gun. Hmm. So, yeah, Paradox, if you're playing the first mission, um, I, I, I certainly got a bit caught up in that the first time around as I. You may find there's a bit of treachery involved. Hope that doesn't catch you out. And here they come. See, so trying to push you back off the beachhead again, and there's the fighters. Where they are a good time from. And as you can see, they're not that strong. And I should be able to handle them. So, shall we deal with that first? Let's deal with that first. Let's get our. On this place to get out of the way. So I think this guy. More time to get him to come and discourage the base there. Now, oh, there we go, there's the anti air force. We're just out of the way. So, what we've got left, we have our oh, Fubuki here. Can we get him? Yes, we can get Fubuki involved. Let's so, come on. Take some more. Get more going well. Oh, where these guys come from? I didn't see those guys at all. That's one of the those guys there. I thought that flank was a bit too open. So these guys are kind of caught in no man's land. But if I can get rid of this, I can get people up to support them. So let's try that first. That's down to four efficiency already. So I think I'm more. I'm worried about these guys. So I'm going to to take it's going to build up a bit more supply in three turns, which would be nice. And then let's go and soften them up and take that. Yeah, well, you'll. you'll they are, I do like the ones, the guys who run around with big falchions rather than just uh, running around with guns. That's a bit of extra damage to it. So let's get our flame tank aboard. It will be quite useful next time. Um, and as I said, our supplies are running a bit low, but we've got the joint because we joined up to Shanghai now. We should be okay. I don't think I need to get these guys too involved. But I'm going to float them across, soften these guys up a bit. So up here, he's gonna take that. In the meantime, I'm gonna try and take this thing out. Look who's on here, he's quite weakened, so we're gonna run him out the front line. And get our guys involved. Push them out. Cool, right, we're ashore. Bring these guys up. Get that front line secured. And all this time. Oh, as you can see here, these guys are heavy infantry. But these are Chinese heavy infantry, and they are they are certainly the best uh, infantry units that these Chinese guys can really muster. And they will do a bit of damage when they dug in, but they tend to dig in rather than come forward. So I've got a bit of time, I think, before I have to deal with them. Uh, so I'm going to move in down here. And protect this area. Oh, and those are the things all. Yay. Let's get involved with that. More people ashore. Absolutely out of supply. Good. So, Aji and Katara here. Now oh, he's done his job here. Not really much he can reach anymore. So I think we've got to go and help secure that top flank. Our anti-air guy, well, he's over here, and our bombers are over here. So I might be able to get assist if I'm moving there. 
and then our two aircraft carriers I'm probably just going to leave hanging around around here because I don't really need to fit any close to that. And these guys help them instantly back down it. So fortunately we've got some good hits to efficiency there but also suffering a little bit from our guys who made the landing. And that's you lot. Let's see where they hit back now. And there we go. Cruiser, I think, alone, bombing the ground. Fox balls, yes. Again, uh, yes, I'm back. This is the first DLC, so we're out today. We're going to see the ones. So he's bugged out. He hasn't fancied the fight. Here come some more swordy guys. Uh, he's left himself rather exposed there. But he's come around to cut, cut off that supply chain to Shanghai again, which is rather disappointing. And there goes my enter tank. Well, that didn't go so well. Unfortunately, he's only an auxiliary unit. But still, it's a bit shameful. But still, we're trying to push us back. You'll find that certainly at the start of this, the. Uh, level. Uh, the Chinese troops are very willing because they, they know they have a lot of backup to come and try and push you back into the sea. And there's uh, our first problem. So we've got this beachhead and a few more places to re redeploy. But we're at minus one supply because we got pushed out of here. So we'll fix that that turn, but it does, it does mean that uh, we're going to have to take it, take it a bit slower than we wanted to, I think. So we're going to move the Shanghai and left back up here to secure that path there. And these guys are going to come over here and get our link back up again. They're going to get shot at. So I'm going to fix them up a bit. Uh, so, what have we got left? Ah, don't really want to get involved because we've been weakened so much. So I'm going to fix some of these guys up. Destroyer, that cruiser up there is going to be a problem. So I think we'll have to get our other cruiser coming this way, keep it in supply to touch them. Kick those guys. Yeah, this guy I think needs to move into supply and touch to get more supply on board. Should be fine now. Keep those guys down. I'm going to fix these guys up. Uh, they've moved, they've got an opportunity to kill him, so let's do that. And expand the flank, expand the flank. Move these guys over, secure that river so these guys pop them across. Now those engineers could take that, but they'd be at 5 and there's a tank coming. So I might take it and leave them where they are and use the to take it. Move these engineers in there instead. Probably move our tank up to. Where's he gotta go? So he's probably gonna come and try and push on here, so I'm gonna move him up to here, but leave him static. The Osaka here is gonna come and get through this. So that Hawk 2 is hanging around. So it's out of range of my anti air gun. So let's go and give him a little welcome committee. And our gunboat. Not a lot for them to do around here, so he's going to go and engage that cruiser as well. And then we have here, he's at range of everybody up. He can get shots on those guys, so we'll have that. Maybe kill them. Puny sword does nothing much against our battling uh, tank. I'm going to leave this guy sleeping here, I think. So, it's not going too bad. It's gone worse. We've lost the unit already, but we have taken our first two towns and supply locations. And we've got everybody ashore, which is the important thing. Everyone's ashore and they're safe. Um, we've got left 
to him at a time. We've got a tank. I don't really want to get him involved. I'm happy for him to take next turn to focus on these guys. Um, our tankette. It's a little bit strange, but can certainly help us get rid of this. Can you stay in there? And hello, Sokoki. So you're going to come up here and you're going to get involved next turn. We'll put you on that supply line and gone, so we're a bit more efficient. Then our anti air guy. Where do we reckon this bomber is going, chaps? I reckon he's going to head for this guy here, so I'm going to move him up here. And then we have our D1A left. Where do we want to punch through? We probably want to punch through here and here. So I think it's probably worth reducing him a bit. That's better actually. Well, let's take advantage of that one. There we go, very well. Let's combine up, combined arms there. I don't really want to move them forward because they're a bit exposed, especially with uh, this artillery there. It's going to pound me anyway. Don't really want artillery and a tank. So let's send, spend my last seven resource points. So I've got some more infantry. So I'm going to fix up and bring here to help secure the southern flank. Then go have a look at the first look at the purchase menu. So, as, as you might have seen on the press, quite a few new units in this uh, particular one. First up, you get cavalry, who are quite amusing. They are essentially uh, tankettes on horses. So they've got a good six movement and good eight four range battle against infantry, so much better out on the flanks than in cities but quite good, quite mobile, and more than capable of uh, harassing a flank. Uh, but I've got flanks okay, so for now, so I'm going to with that. Tanks, tempted. Um, Anti-tank, I've lost mine, and they just have that guy floating around, so that's worth thinking about. I also only have one unit of artillery on, on, the, on the table at the moment. So that's also worth thinking about as well. Um, I don't currently have anything for air or sea, so I can't do those guys. But you might like to have a look at some of the... Uh, New things hang around. You have the Key 3, which is the, essentially the army version of the same plane as the D1A. So, but D1A is obviously based for carriers, so it costs a bit more. So, who have we got left? So, I don't that. so, I'm thinking I might bring another Type 89 onto the field to help combat that tank in the middle. So, I'm going to bring him in there and have a nice, strong centered armored center to try and push this through. Got a pack there, but I can work around that. I think there's enough space to get around. And I forgot that uh, Vickers. <laughs> there you go. There's another example of the Chinese loaning stuff. A Vickers Mark Mark E turning up. What's he got? He's uh, quite a decent seven eight um, attack. Sadly, can't get him yet because I still haven't got any own air units. I've only got a, a, um, a, an allied air units. Nothing much else to do this turn. So let's see what that tank's going to get up to. Oh, hello. Someone else on the northern flank. Good boats, I think. And there's, there's our cruiser, our cruiser again. And starting. There we go. Here we go. And oh, that's very nice. Someone very shooting. I'm going take a bit of damage to our MG team there, but I just got to get two sets of, tank, two sets of uh, tanks in his face next to him. And they really are determined to focus down that particular infantry. And he's gone for supply ship. That's not me. Also, didn't work out very well for him as he got him uh, two to one. And he's retreated. That was the Hawk 2 that was pestering our northern side. There's the other Hawk 2 retreating as well. So they've gone away. They'll be back, I'm sure. Some boar infantry. I did say they had quite a lot. Decided to take our time cat on. Seems a curious choice, but they've come out evens. They've pulled out of the way. Oh, that's going to get messy. And then I'm going to go, go and press that advantage. They've come home. I'm just going to push the pressure on. So this is the thing, they make the Chinese infantry in this scenario do make a lot of what seems like bad trades, but they've got so many men. They really can whittle down your efficiency and your manpower quite, quite quickly. So, first up, 
All right, those, those uh, uh, fighters get out of the way, so I think it's time to go and teach this uh, particular bobber a lesson. We don't particularly appreciate his lot time around here. Taking a bit of damage, but uh, fortunately that's on the uh, backup resource points, so I can get them fixed up soon. And where are we? We have a Pinghai light cruiser and the Dinghai gunboat against. I should have enough because I've got this destroyer advantage, so I should be able to secure that. Down here, I've got two tanks to take on this Vickers. Uh, this MG team's taking a bit of damage, so is this engineer, so we're, we're a bit weak in the central area here, so we could probably do get a bit of backup involved. And they've got, as I said, we've got this flank secured, but they've got this guys here, so it's not going to be easy pickings through there. So I think I'm going to start out where it is relatively easy pickings. I'm going to move these guys out to secure that bridge. And these guys are going to come round and have got this bridge here. And there they are. I thought they might be here somewhere. And they're dead. Good. Alright, so we have some Chinese heavy infantry here. Important bit, Shanghai has a uh, French and uh, British international settlement units where neither us nor the Chinese dare to go for fear of being attacked again. Uh, the Boxer Rebellion and its ensuing stuff is still quite raw in the minds of the Chinese at this time. But that just means that that bridge is out of order. So to get down to Long Hua Airfield here, I've either got to push around the back here, leaving a big exposed flank, or push through the city. I'm probably going to go for push through the city and leave these guys basically running a bit of interference here in case anyone wants to take me on. These guys can take on those ones. Seven uh, damage there. Let's stay where they are. So I need to get these guys up here to secure this. Which they've done. And we can have a quick push onto them. I don't really want to push on though because I'll leave a big boot in behind. To push me out. But it does mean I can get the Soro key involved. They've got a bit of. They're still going to do a bit of damage, so I think I might go and find my bombers. Over here and go and soften them up a bit. Ah, there it is. You can come and get involved as well. That's all that. And then this guy is it. Ooh, that's tasty. You need to pull out, you need to push up. And I don't think that's going to be enough to push them out this turn, so I might leave them there in, on low efficiency and take their chance to hit these infantry here. Cool. I think that's going to take that involved and keep pushing. I think I might convert this temporarily to an anti-tank gun, so I'll provide a bit of support next turn. Let these guys get some vault. Oh, four, nice. I'll take that as a nice starting roll. I think I should force him to retreat next turn, which should buy me a bit of time around Nanchang here. So let's fix some of these guys up. Um, I think I'm going to leave you there to try and recover a bit of organisation. And just try to make a bit of money with those guys. So, I know them flank. What can our cruiser do? Oh, we have five against that gunboat. That's probably worth a shot. He's got one plus there. Let's go get exposed to that cruiser. It's probably worth it. That was a bit of a waste, but there you go. Let's get rid of him. Is the gunboat gone? So we've got a 3 on 1 now on that flank, and importantly, 2 towards that. So our marines and these Chinese militia. So they've got 3 on there, 3 on there. These guys haven't got much because they keep getting shot up. So let's go on and see if we can push them out. Keep them involved. We're not going to advance with you though, because that would just go, go horribly wrong. These guys can go over there and get that flank secured. Yeah, so still escaping, but we'll get them next turn. 
these guys are going to hold that bridge. And they're going to get shot if they go there. So I might just leave them there just to stop anyone cutting through and cutting anyone off. And also get a bit of efficiency back from resting. We've got left. Oh, so we have our DD here. I don't think he's needed up here because I think that cruise is going to do fine by itself. So we're just going to take on that. Just recover and. Cool. So I took. So, four turns in, we've gained another length of hex for the terrain there, um, and we've really reduced that vicar's down, pushed them well back, and he's off again. So right, we've pushed the first wave of aircraft apart, so I probably need to go and fix myself up, but my fighters are looking quite poorly. Wow, he really wants that bridge. He's still going, he's going to him, he's fixed up. <clears throat> Here he comes, yeah, he really wants to push me out of that bridge. I was at least afraid of me turning that off. That's a good sign, I think. I can pull him away from stuff. So he's fixed up, he's still shooting me. Oh, then the Hulk's back. Okay, he's obviously sensed a bit of weakness. I think he made a mistake there. So was that one. Right. Ah, oh, splendid. Here we go. So, you know, I was saying before, we didn't have any aircraft to deploy. Well, now we have. We have a brand new construction unit ready to make ourselves a new airport for close air support. Which is good because I'm still quite a long way away from taking these two airports. So we'll take him here. He's uh, on the boat at the moment. And shove him off the ground and next turn we'll be able to construct an airstrip. So next turn we we'll get my flight. So we've got six. Let's see we've got six command points to deploy but we still, because we don't have anywhere to deploy them that supports them. We have no airport, we can't get them in, into the field yet, but we will get them very soon. Right. Let's get our bombarding done first. Keep something that's going up. Then we're going to move them away. Move them in. Actually, fire with this guy first this time. I'm gonna hit these guys, I think. And then uh, I'm gonna move my tankette out of the way. So he's got a bit shot up. Now maybe if we can push these guys out first. There we go. So I'm gonna leave him there. We can always push those guys out. Move him into Dan Chang. Shots off there. Shots off. It's good, we've got some good bits of good ground in Shanghai then. This organised living is quite badly. I'm going to bring my tank around here. Okay, bulk there. Seven health still, probably will do okay. Push up and secure that. I don't really want to get him over there though. So we're going to. I'm going to shift him back to where? Onto the air. Him out the way. I think we'll fix him up. And so we can next turn. Same with these guys here, they've got a lot of beaten up. We do have a rather large hole here though, so we need to patch that with someone. So I think we'll move these guys here to help fill the and patch the hole a bit. Fix them up. We have two units of engineers, which is good because these guys need flushing out. So we take that to the Those guys. Where's that hawk? That's the hawk, isn't it? You got one hawk there, and another hawk down there. Oh, there's the one. Let's go and get these guys first. I'm gonna keep pushing on this. Finally got rid of there you go. Another cross the puncher down. And there's that unit trying to escape. I'll have to keep an eye on him in case he doesn't make sure he doesn't outflank us. I'm gonna move these guys up. Push those guys back a bit. Right, 
then do we want to get involved or are they going to have a flank to open? I'm going to move them up. Okay, we can get a bit of force to pull them down. Okay, I should keep them, I think the Zox will still keep them out. I think we're going to stay there still anyway, it's a bit, a bit too unsafe for my liking. So I bomb a patrol. I think we're going to come up here and soften them up. Soften them up. Maybe on an empty area to move it, which is nice. The only anti-air of sin is down here, it's both of us. Gonna leave them there. Oh no, we're actually gonna misclick and get them killed. Yes! That's what we like. Nice bit of death by misclick. <sighs> so I didn't want them anyway. Right, next. So we've got a shit in the face. Revenge, and we're going to move up to try and stop this kind of thing. And that's it, and let's see whether they're going to murder my engineers or not. Oh, well done, Paradox. Yes, you can, yes this, this is a Japanese focused DLC, uh, old, old versions of it. That's kind of like the Japanese of the uh, active go forward side on this particular content. Makes more of the Chinese later. Right, here we go, and we've got some engineers slaughtered. I feel a bit silly. Oh, we're still alive. So they, know, they know we're coming, so they're trying to push back. It's a oh, one hit point, who's gonna do it? Who's gonna have the coup de grace? Close them. Uh, here we go. Death by bomber. Embarrassing. Oh well. Got some of my command points back. Let's go and buy someone new. Darn. Right. Building away, that uh, takes a few turns to build, but it's uh, on the way. Uh, I need to extract you somewhat. Let's move the other way and get you the hell out of there. Push you up to hold that line there, I think. So we'll do give us a nice defensive line across. Right, I need to get someone in here to secure this bit. Let's see if we can get involved. Some more infantry, I think. I think I've got some heavy infantry involved. Yep. And get them securing that line. After I lost my engineers well stupidly. So these guys are a bit hurt. I'll fix them even there. These guys have been pushing hard here, so it's time to pull them back this way. These guys are fixed. Keep pressure on these guys, so it hurts a bit, but we need to winkle them out somehow. And then let's get rid of this. Die. Absolute failure. Right. Down here, SNLF again. One of my favourite units in this scenario. They seem to be quite rugged. Let's fix them up. And again, these guys think it's worth holding the line for a turn here. 
Similarly, let's take a bit of damage to organization. Let's fix him up here as well. Do I want to get involved with that? I think we should, probably should do. I think we've got to take the opportunity to do the damage to that when we can. One. And our bomber, they've lost all their entrenchment now, which is good. And we've got these guys coming in. I think it might be time to get behind the lines and stop start worrying some of these guys. I don't really want to get involved in that yet. These guys can push up in a bit there. This turn. Let's see, and no for stupid moves that turn at least. Let's get going. Well, so it's turn six. Oh, he's uh, re redeployed his tank again. Point out there. I think we only have one hit point still does three to my gunboat. Go ahead take a bit of damage, that's okay. So he's with the point where he heal, yep. He's got a trace, we're trying to come around the flank. That's two, maybe five, is it? And one, actually, if we don't, is he going to move back in? Yes, he is. Oh hello, more guys down here. Yes, I suppose. They were quite low efficiency now because we're in. And that hawk's back again. It's never stopping that hawk, is it? And there's the other one. I stuck the upper hand there. I've got six and four against three and two. Which one's the bomber? That's, that's the, so five and four. Still, I think I've got a good chance to get rid of them. There we go. There's a first aerial success of the, this mission. Right, you need to get back in behind the lines. You guys get a shoulder. You guys come around here and get this bridge secured again. There we go. Alright, so that's, the, that's that first bit achieved. We've got that bridge and river secured. And they've got a lone guy running around here we saw earlier. I suspect they probably also have lots more up here. But at least if we're, that river's in work play and we've got a bridge, they can't suddenly flank us. He still can't kill him. There we go. And you can go and have a look up there. Ah, oh, there he is. Back to full strength as well. Plenty of supply. I think I'd rather have you down here, I think. I'm not sure that's worth it. So I'm going to move you down here and take on some of these guys. You can't get to that tank, it's turned to shame. With this. Right, you're in trouble a bit early, mister. Don't want to move. Thanks. Right, you're going to need to redeploy and stop killing that. That's building, a couple more turns to go. And it's time, I think, to go. So we'll keep involved again. Ooh, 5 1. That's pretty irresistible, I've read. So we've got a 4 1, a 5 1 on some infantry, heavy infantry. I think we should probably take these guys, though, because those guys are going to. They're not worth much anyway. These guys are worth quite a lot. He's trying to push hard on them. All the hurt. I don't think I'll get my tank involved in there around that pack.
so I'll just leave him there. Forward, if you've got no infantry, just all infantry, so we have infantry there. And, these guys. Back. and because he's at like no, he's down to zero efficiency, so our uh, heavy infantry guys can really give him a bit of spanking. So let's move him there. Who have we got left? So we have our engineers up here who've been done, done well, got rid of all their fortification. It's probably worth another push. There we go. So they still, because of the zones of control, can't get to lower the arm. They've got that secured. Keep pushing on that. Got keep pushing, I think. I'll get that camera moving forward still. Don't know really how to attack with that. These guys. Hmm, I'm tempted to run these guys around here to take this side bit. Seems we've got enough guys in the line here. So I think we're going to run around. I don't know what to take with them. And that's your lot for this turn. Right. Come on then, Chinese. Let's see what you got to the front of me. Paradox asked her, don't I want to buy some bombers? I would love to buy some bombers, but I don't currently hold, hold an airfield, so I can't deploy them anywhere. Um, I've actually got some of my core force that are itching to out here, but because I don't hold one of these two airfields near the top here, and I, my construction vehicle isn't yet isn't finished building the airstrip, I can't get them into the battle. No, nope, they're out, out of the way. They're cycling units again. And fixing up. And poor anti air gun that's leading to you. And he comes up. Oh, there we go. Got a bit desperate with that bomber, I think. I don't know whether he's scouting let him down or what, but I think he's now a dead bomber. 5 uh, 4. We'll move over here to close to the things. These guys have 3.5 fuel, I think. You, these guys need to be getting back to. Base. So I think this has been now made it all the way back here past Lucia. Uh, hmm, he's got to be a he's got to be a pain later on, I think. Let's see what happens. So I was saying, yeah, uh, paradox. I do actually have a, a good chunk of bombers here, but I have no way to put them down until this guy finishes building, or I take one of these two things very soon, I think, and then that will I think will really will tip the advantage in my favour. It's got to be a little while yet. Let's fix him up. And he's oh, pulled out a Prudong. Interesting. It's very generous of him. So let's come over here. Secure this bridge. No, I said I left. No, I left. Right. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. He's gone. So move around here. These ones aren't being very dreadful. So I've got pressure some of these things to try and achieve this uh, six coast of bunker, bunker objectives. So objectives catch up. We've, kind of, we've got two more places to catch in Shanghai and one, two more places to take in the north. So uh, getting there, but it's proving a bit of a slog. So the bookie, we're going to bring you back. Uh, shall we go and get involved? Have we got enough supply? Let's be able to supply. Let's go and get involved with some of this. Marines involved as well. Don't want to go back to Pestum too much later on. Ah, the snooze symbol on the carries is uh, it's double sleep. So you can uh, uh, put a unit sleep for one turn. If you double click, you put some sleep for all turns so they don't come up in the next unit selection. So I don't really want to do anything with them that are just there to supply my fighters. So I don't want them coming up in my next and previous unit selections. So bombers, I think, it's 
probably time to go and pester that um, not to bother me so much. Um, and maybe move you over there. Now finally, he's finally run out of targets, so let's move him up. We've got a nice horse transport. A bit of horse, horse and cart transport artillery there. Uh, he needs fixing. This flank is still a bit open, but he's on very low efficiency, so we've got a chance of shooting. And then pushing him forward and following up. I'm going to run him over there and bring him in here to shoot him. Uh, so here we've got a guy who settled into that city and also this pack. I think we need to get rid of this pack to free up these tanks who are rather congested here. I think I'm going to hit him to get rid of the fortification and push him well back. Oh, well. I'm going to leave him in the city because I want to hit these guys next turn. I'll follow up with my tankette. So that's the only option well back here. So it does. There's a well secured infantry line behind those. So I'm going to hold my line. Same there. I think he's worth just keeping alive. I think we'll just move move this tank around the top so we can come around and get, engage that infantry from this side. And this guy. Turn. Zumo, no one to shoot at. So I'm going to move you down here to help with the battle down here. That's not a good trade. And that's your lot. Alright. Um, hi, uh, that tank, I think, is a, a British Vickers Mark, th Mark III, I think. Let's have a look at it. And there's certainly, yeah, the, there's not much the Chinese have at this period that's their own. Very much a lot of Bought in things from Russia and Europe and a bit of a bit of kit here and there. There's even a panther cat wagon hacking around on a, on a scenario of the So that's still a big old trade battle happening there, so lots of efficiency going down, but no one really using health. Without flanks, so he's pushing on me, but it's not going to work, I think. Oh, here comes that thing again, it's a bit more even this time. Only three, so got, well, I've got a turn left still, so I think it's what's going to involve. And we've got an airstrip, we have an airstrip, right. Let's get some people, get some bombers in. So, K3 is bombers, this is our uh, fighter class. Now get the drop K3s in, I think, to help out. They go straight in there. Let's get him in the air. I haven't managed to forget to fix that one. Oh well, let's fix him now. So they can only deploy one uh, plane per turn from an airstrip. Um, the latest patches that allow you to deploy two from a permanent strip now though. So if you hold one of these permanent things you can now deploy two a turn uh, to represent the better efficiency you get from a permanent base like this than a temporary base like this. Keep the pressure here. Bit of a diversion in there, but that's the job. These guys can keep pushing here. So that's good. That's unless the storm starts sneaking through here, which they could do, I suppose. It's probably better to leave him here. And I think I'm just gonna leave him here and fix him up as well, because I don't want him pushing on alone. So Goki, oh he's uh, done a bit better now. Hmm, might need softening up a bit. Oh, he's got a bow for us there, hasn't he? Stick. Oh, he's starting to fall. And that's the pack pushed out of the way. There we go. That's going to help things quite a lot.
Yeah, but that's, uh, that's your Vickers Marquee. Like I said, uh, cavalry are basically kind of like uh, like the tankette. They do a lot of damage to inf infantry, not much to mechanized stuff. I'll show you one in the uh, force list. So they're in here. So they do mediocre damage, but out in the flanks against infantry, they do a lot of damage. And they have six movements, so they're quite good for reconnoitering and securing flanks. Uh, the level that Paradox game is playing now, Mission 2, uh, where he's actually operating in front of and behind the uh, Chinese wall. And so I find it's quite nice to have some cavalry running around there, because there's big open areas to fight in. Let's keep trying to get this going out of here. Getting quite tough. Okay, we've got Tang in here. Oh, more people dug in in forests. He's quite weak though. Probably worth killing him off. There we go, he's a gunner. Get these guys up. This guy's got a good distraction. I think we'll have to pull them back soon. They're going to get rather sucked away from the main force. This tank here, uh, it's not much of a fight really. A tankette. It's all getting a bit boggy down here, isn't it? It's all a bit messy. Mm. We'll carry on well here. Uh, we'll push. Taking two damage, how much we got? Four. I think it's worth pushing up there. Okay. Movement in this flank has all got rather stiff. What have we got left around here? And if we take that with these guys next turn, these guys can come around and support this flank a bit more, so it's a bit of a hole. And these guys haven't really got anyone to hit, so I can probably take them again. We want to push these guys to flank that. There's got to be someone inside you, Sean, you know who is. So I think it's worth going here and trying to get these guys off. That's what we're going to do. Really perfect. Right. That's really helped secure the area. So we've got a good got a good beachhead now. Pushing on to Yushan. This guy's gonna fall very soon. And I really want to get hold of that airfield. If I can. So we've left our anti-air support. It's not really doing much, but we'll keep moving. You are gonna go and get back on one of those carriers. You're staying there. You're Pretty low efficiency, but so are these guys. I'm just gonna leave you there to hold the forward, I think. As are you, so. So, yeah, uh, cavalry are very smooth range, so. And uh, that's my gunboat gone. There we go. I didn't see that fortress. Eh. Um, he's flying up there. Yeah, cavalry are really nice, I don't know. Uh, to deploy one here, but they are a wonderful thing as they open. This isn't really the mission forward, it's quite niggling as you can see in and around Shanghai here. Um, certainly, as I get the open missions, so the one previous to this one and the one after this one, which I think is Wuhan, has some big open terrain that it can really cause havoc in. More infantry, because why wouldn't they have more infantry? Alright, so as I thought, he's pushed far too far, he needs to come back. And this is nice to so exposed here. That's only infantry damage. Pull back then. But there's a chance here if I can, if I can pull them back and move across, I can pocket them off. Good. Oh, he's going to be desperate though, having to fight out. Great, so let's have a summary of where we're up to, because I think that's not the last turn of this stream this evening. So, expand the beachhead, we've taken the Lord Yan. Uh, this is going to fall pretty soon, and Yushan has got off some money inside it, but we're pushing on so we've got a tank and several infantry platoons moving on it. That shouldn't take too much longer. There we go, this one here, and then all of Shanghai. This, bit, this one's a bit more in doubt. We've taken the uh, one across the water here, but we don't really know what's in the airfield. We haven't much vision on this. 
And they've got more infantry moving up than reserve, so we need to move back and secure these bridges, secure this foothold onto this area. And this bit here, again, they've managed to push back up through the city, so we need to push them out again. So it's not as tight as it could be. And yeah, Paradox, you can actually have two units swap places, so it is possible. And if you take one unit and just click on the other unit, they'll swap. Uh, six custom bunters, 12 Chinese infantry units. I think with the amount of Chinese infantry units left on the map, I'm pretty sure I'm going to destroy 12 of them. So let's get things started. So I think we start with you, because you're being paid. Come to him. Come on, first one. First sort of this guy. He's got a little shot up. He needs to get him on. And then this heavy infantry here needs to move over and push these guys back. Not my initial hit. I'm tank hit us. Good. Alright, let's kept uh, this area secure. He's getting so shot up. And he's got to move back, I think, see if we can keep him out of the line for a turn. And we're going to get rid of him. Yes, he can. Splendid. Right, there we go. There's two of the objects up here secured. He's rather injured. He's got well dragged well out of position there. I'll take him back. I don't fancy taking on that fortress. So it's time to pull back. Uh, these guys, well, you're low efficiency, you might as well kill them off and keep them across the river. And shall we go and see what Yushan has to offer? And, oh, just no infantry. Splendid. We can probably take them next turn. And I think these guys are going to stay there, so I'm going to move up past them. Here. If these guys want to move out, but I don't think they will because I can pocket them off quite quickly if they do. But it's probably worth moving over and security taking that forest and over them. You guys are staying out here. Yeah, come back. Let's hold that ground. And we're going to hold. Oh, God, I don't want to you past this guy, not. across two rivers. Um, I've never tried to go into international settlements. I think, don't think it's a good idea. Um, generally, you don't want the British and French forces irritated with you. Actually, I'm pretty sure on this one I can't. No, on this one I can't actually get through it. It's uh, locked off. So, well, imagine the international incidents if, uh, uh, at this point, Japan decides to invade Imperial Britain. Bad things would probably have come of it. But yeah, no, it's currently blocked off, which basically means we're fighting two prongs on this side of the Shanghai, one on this side of the river, the other on this side of the river, because these bridges are secure. So there we go, that's that. He's on board here. He needs fixing up. He's looking pretty unhealthy. So I think it's time to get bug him out as well. He's on the line. Could fall him back so we can get shut up by more artillery. And he's there. And I think that's probably all we have time for this evening, chaps. Um, so, how have we done? Our hour of play, 10 turns, I think we're on our way. It's still pretty messy, they've still got lots of units, and they've obviously got some, lots of fresh units still coming up. But we're ashore, we've expanded the beachhead, we're quite close to the first objective, which we can probably get into a couple of turns. This one bit tighter, but it feels like we've broken the back of it now. Um, if we can get these, get through these guys and get down here, get this artillery out of the way. And these guys are quite happily blowing up uh, bunkers for all they're worth, which is nice of them. Uh, so remember, if I take this, then I get a naval invasion down here, which I think will be the uh, killing blow for the Chinese in this 
particular scenario. But there you go. Only two units lost, one from a very irritating misclick. Um, but thanks for watching, chaps. I hope you enjoyed the feed. I hope you enjoy the game. It's, it's a really enjoyable expansion. Um, I've learned a lot more about the second sign of a Japanese war now than I used to know. So I'm really good to go to play it and good to have you watch. Thanks a lot. Uh, see you again next time. See you.